भारत विकसित हो जाएगा ना पच्चीस साल में मुसीबतों का नामो निशान नहीं रहेगा नामो निशान नहीं रहेगा हम मुसीबतों से मुक्त हो जाएंगे न्यू क्रिमिनल लॉज इन बॉडी स्पिरिट ऑफ सिटीजन फर्स्ट डिग्निटी फर्स्ट Justice first. Bharat has broken the shackles of colonialism. A date immortalized in India's democratic journey. India's criminal justice system witnesses biggest reform as Parliament of India passed three key laws. Those in favor will please say aye. Those against will please say no. I think the ayes have it. the eyes have it the eyes have it the bill is passed center has formally notified in the official gazette the three laws the bharatiya nay sahita 2023 bharatiya nagrik suraksha sahita 2023 and the bharatiya sakshya adhiniyam 2023 after president draupadi murmu gave the assent Prime Minister Narendra Modi underlines that these laws ensure enhanced protection for the poor, marginalized and vulnerable sections of the society while also coming down heavily on organized crime, terrorism and other such offenses. Changes have been made in the three laws governing nearly 150 years old criminal justice system concerning indigenous in in constitution and people of india itihas hai bol kar bhul jana hamara itihas hai jo modi ji kehte hain wo karte hain main aasha karta hu ki ye bharat ki criminal justice system mein ek naye yug ki shuruaat hogi jo purnatya pa narendra modi ji ne aazadi ke 75 saal baad इस देश में सारे कॉलोनियन कानूनों के अंदर उसको बदलाव कर कर समाप्त कर कर भारत की आत्मा को प्रस्तावित करने की शुरुआत भाषा को आगे बढ़ाए वो स्वराज है स्व संस्कृति को आगे बढ़ाए वो स्वराज है और वो स्व शासन को जो प्रस्तावित करे वो स्वराज कानून का संपूर्ण इंप्लीमेंटेशन होने के बाद तारीख पे तारीख का जमाना जाएगा तीन साल में किसी भी विक्टिम को न्याय मिल जाए ऐसी न्याय प्रणाली इस देश के अंदर प्रस्तावित होगी क्या होगा इस कानून से आजादी के 75 साल तक और चार दशक से आतंकवाद का दंश झेलने के बाद इस देश की आपराधिक न्याय प्रणाली के कानूनों के अंदर आतंकवाद की डेफिनेशन नहीं थी नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने जीरो टॉलरेंस टोवर्ड आतंकवाद का परिचय कराते हुए टेररिज्म की डेफिनेशन को इसके अंदर शामिल किया है मान्यवर जो पूछते हैं कि इस कानून से क्या होगा मैं उनको बताना चाहता हूं कि इस कानून से राज्य द्रोह अब देश द्रोह के अंदर बदल गया है Hello and a very warm welcome viewers you're watching this special presentation of Sunset TV on new criminal laws on 21st of December 2023 Parliament of India passed Bharatiya Nyay Sanhita Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sanhita and Bharatiya Sakshya Adhiniyam 2023 these three criminal reforms have now replaced the Indian Penal Code of 1860 Criminal Procedure Code of 1898 and the Indian Evidence Act of 1872 respectively The passage of these laws signals a shift in India's justice delivery system. While the existing legal frameworks served the country for an extended period, the new criminal laws represent a meaningful progression towards justice system improvement aimed at building a legislation that is more responsive, equitable and better suited to meet society's evolving needs. Bharatiya Nyay Sanhita 2023 is a comprehensive effort to redefine and refocus the penal code. With several sections being amended, repealed or added, 
the new law introduces a nuanced approach to offences, penalising actions that endanger the sovereignty, unity and integrity of India. It also addresses contemporary challenges such as terrorism, organised crime, distinguishing between major and petty offences and prescribing stringent penalties for the former. Bharti Nagrik Suraksha Sahita 2023 seeks to humanize our criminal justice system. By timelines for investigations, it aims to make justice more accessible and responsive to the needs of people. It replaces outdated terminology with a more people-friendly language, reflecting a commitment to a humane approach. In cases involving heinous offenses, the proposed legislation emphasizes the necessity of a mandatory visit by the forensic team. The strategic provision aims to bolster the investigative process ensuring that the specialized team conducts an on-site examination to collect crucial evidence. By mandating such visits, the legislation seeks to enhance the thoroughness and accuracy of criminal investigations, ultimately contributing to a more robust legal framework centered around contemporary standards of justice. Bharti Saksha Adhiniyam 2023 recognizes the growing role of technology in legal proceedings. In a contemporary legal landscape where technology plays a pivotal role, this law recognizes electronic evidence as any information generated or transmitted by any device or system capable of being stored or retrieved. This broad definition encompasses a wide range of digital data from emails and text messages to multimedia files, acknowledging the diverse form of evidence relevant to modern cases, emphasizing factors such as authenticity and integrity. This inclusion is crucial in maintaining the credibility of electronic information presented in court, ensuring that technological advancements do not compromise the reliability of legal proceedings. Special provisions for the admissibility of DNA evidence and the acceptance of expert opinions as evidence further bolsters the Act's commitment to a modern and effective legal framework. A noteworthy feature of the proposed criminal laws is the establishment of an independent director of prosecution in each district. This significant development aims to fortify the prosecution system, ensuring fairness and impartiality at the local level. Similar progressive legal actions taken within a definitive time frame could crucially strengthen the overall criminal justice machinery and build public trust in the evolving justice system. The criminal law modernization symbolizes more than just a legal transformation. It reinforces a commitment to ensuring justice that resonates with the society's changing needs. This legislative strike positions India on the path towards a more equitable, accessible and evolved legal framework. The process of legal reform has commenced and these groundbreaking laws indicate a future where justice is not only delivered but is inclusive and reflective of our nation's dynamic ethos. India's criminal justice system has been predominantly shaped by laws and regulations inherited from the British colonial era. In the post-independence years, these legal foundations underwent alterations and amendments to align with the evolving requirements of modern times. The experience of seven decades of Indian democracy calls for comprehensive review of our criminal laws, including the Code of Criminal Procedure, and adopt them in accordance with the contemporary needs and aspirations of the people of India. The pre-independence criminal laws were used by the British to protect their colonial interests, to rule the people and the country and to maintain their authority and supremacy over India. There was a need for comprehensive review of the criminal laws, especially the Indian Penal Court, Criminal Procedure Court and the Indian Evidence Act, and adapt them according to the present-day needs and aspirations. In 2019, Prime Minister of India advocated for the need to revamp all the legislations enacted across all departments during the British era. Desh ne 
डेढ़ हजार से ज्यादा पुराने और अप्रासंगिक कानूनों को रद्द कर दिया है इनमें से अनेक कानून तो गुलामी के समय से चले आ रहे हैं In accordance with the basic principles enshrined in the Constitution of India it was proposed to bring about fundamental comprehensive changes in the framework of Indian criminal laws With this objective the existing Indian Penal Code 1860 the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973 and the Indian Evidence Act of 1872 is now repealed and replaced by Bharatiya Nyay Sanhita 2023 Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sanhita 2023 and the Bharatiya Saksha 2023 respectively The main problems in present legal system are complex in nature There is huge pendency of cases in the courts there is low conviction rate and the amount of fine prescribed in the laws is very less from 10 rupees to 500 rupees There's also overcrowding of under trial prisoners in prisons There is very little use of modern technology in the legal system. There is also delay in investigation and delayed justice due to inadequate use of forensic evidence. गरीब आदमी के लिए न्याय महंगा नहीं। टेक्नोलॉजी का उपयोग कर कर और पुलिस, वकील और कोर्ट तीनों को लिए समय मर्यादा बनाकर हमने जल्दी न्याय की प्रक्रिया को आगे बढ़ा है अब तारीख पे तारीख नहीं होगी तीन साल के अंदर फैसला हाथ में जो कहते हैं क्या हुआ है कई बार भ्रष्टाचार से कोई जजमेंट इधर उधर आ जाता है गलती से आता है इसकी अपील का निर्णय कौन करते हैं मान्य महाराज अपील जिसने प्रोसिक्यूशन का जो वकील है वो ही करता है हमने इसमें डायरेक्टर ऑफ प्रोसिक्यूशन के अस्तित्व को कंपलसरी कर दिया है जो पहले एडवाइजर था और हर जिले में एक डायरेक्टर प्रोसिक्यूशन रहेगा जो पूरी प्रोसिक्यूशन की प्रक्रिया से अलग रहकर ये अपील योग्य केस है या नहीं है इसका निर्णय करेगा इससे सबको ऑल द प्रोविजन मेड इन द लॉज टू इक्विप आर जुडिशियल सिस्टम बाय इमेजिनिंग द पॉसिबल टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन दैट मे टेक प्लेस इन द कमिंग हंड्रेड इयर्स A good balance has been maintained between the rights of the people and the citizens. Provisions have been made in these laws to increase the rate of punishment and to prevent cyber crimes. To reduce the burden on jails, community service is long is also being included as a punishment for the first time and is being given legal status. In Bharatiya Nyay Sanhita, priority has been given to crimes related to humans. like rape gang rape crime against children murder kidnapping and trafficking the government has also taken a historic decision and completely removed the section of sedition sedition has been replaced with treason home minister has said that no one can speak against india and no one can harm its interests he has also said that if anyone plays with the flag borders and resources of india he or she will definitely have to go to jail because the government's thrust is that the security of the country comes first a total of 3200 suggestions were received regarding these laws and the home minister himself held 158 meetings to consider these three laws on august 11 2023 these bills were sent to the standing committee of parliament on home affairs these laws seek to modernize the current legal framework and overhaul the criminal justice system let's take a look at the key highlights the bhartiya nyay sanhita 2023 repeals the indian penal code key changes proposed in the bill include ipc defines sedition as bringing or attempting to bring hatred or contempt or exciting disaffection towards the government it is punishable with imprisonment term between 3 years and life imprisonment and or a fine the law removes this offense it instead penalizes exciting or attempting to excite secession armed rebellion or subversive activities encouraging feelings of separatist activities or endangering sovereignty or unity and integrity of india these offenses may involve exchange of words or signs electronic communication or use of financial means terrorism the law defines terrorism as an act that intends to threaten the unity integrity and security of the country to intimidate the general public or disturb public order 
The law also penalizes conspiring, organizing or resisting in preparation of any terrorist act with an imprisonment term between 5 years and life imprisonment and a fine of at least 5 lakh rupees. Petty organized crime. The law makes attempting or committing petty organized crime punishable with imprisonment between 1 and 7 years and a fine. Death penalty for gang rape of minor. IPC allows death penalty for gang rape of women below 12 years of age. The law now allows death penalty for gang rape of women below 18 years of age. The Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sanhita 2023 was introduced in the Lok Sabha on 11th of August 2023. It repeals the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973. The code provides for the procedure of arrest, prosecution and bail for offences under various acts including the Indian Penal Code 1860. The key provisions now include trials in electronic mode. The law provides that all trials, inquiries and proceedings may be held in electronic mode. It also provides for the production of electronic communication devices likely to contain digital evidence for investigation, inquiry or trial. Electronic communication includes communication through devices such as mobiles, computers or telephone. Forensic investigation. The law mandates forensic investigation for offenses punishable with at least 7 years of imprisonment. Timelines for procedures. The law prescribes timelines for various procedures. For instance, it requires medical practitioners who examine rape victims to submit their reports to the investigating officer within 7 days. Trial in absence of offender. The law provides for conduct of trial and pronouncement of judgment in the absence of a proclaimed offender. This shall be done when such a person has absconded to evade trial and there is no immediate prospect of arresting him. The Bharti Saksh Adhiniyam 2023 was introduced in the Lok Sabha on 11th of August 2023. It repeals the Indian Evidence Act of 1872. The act provides rules for admissibility of evidence in legal proceedings. Admissibility of electronic or digital records as evidence. The law provides that electronic or digital records will have the same legal effect as paper records. It expands electronic records to include information stored in semiconductor memory or any communication device. Oral evidence under the act, oral evidence includes statements made before courts by witnesses in relation to a fact under inquiry the law lacks any information given electronically to be considered as oral evidence secondary evidence the law expands secondary evidence to include oral and written admissions and the testimony of a person who has examined the document and is skilled in the examination of documents these proposed legislations being brought in place of three old laws have been made on the basis of three basic spirit of our constitution freedom of the individual human rights and the principle of equal treatment to all the purpose of giving punishment is to give justice to the victim and to set an example in the society so that no one else commits such a mistake these three new laws are being humanized for the first time after so many years of independence well viewers that's all we had for you in this edition Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV. Goodbye for now from my side.